Hey all, Carpetbagger here, coming to you live from my bunker, an undisclosed amount of inches beneath the south, and here we are. Holidays are over. Well, not technically. We still got New Year's coming up, but Christmas is behind us. I hope you all had a wonderful Christmas and wonderful holidays. Uh, I wanted to give a special thanks to um, my supporters on Patreon. I feel like I don't thank them enough um, for helping make all this possible. Um, this month um, was the highest amount of uh, patron donations, the highest amount of postcards sent out. So awesome. Thank you. Again, if you want to see a postcard, uh, it's a donation of at least $3 um, a month. If you would like um, an antique postcard, you can donate $10 or $5 will get you a chance. You get a po postcard for sure, and then you'll get a chance at an antique postcard. But what I want to talk about here is um, on the 5th of January, I will be leaving on a jet plane. I will be flying into Seattle, Washington, where I will be spending Saturday and Sunday in Seattle. So I wanted to do um, a meetup in Seattle and after because I've never it's always hard to plan these meetups ahead of time because I've never been to Seattle so I don't really it's hard to scout locations but uh, from the people I've spoken with I've made a decision the meetup will be at Pike Place Market um, let's do it let's say four o'clock at Pike Place Market in Seattle on Sunday the 7th at four o'clock, I will be on the button, hopefully, maybe a few minutes late, you know me. Uh, I will be at Rachel the Pig, which is supposedly the mascot of, of Pike's Place. Again, I've never been there. I would have read it's underneath the clock. There's a giant metal or giant copper piggy bank named Rachel. So I will stand there on Rachel. I may even climb on Rachel's back and ride Rachel until they tell me to get off. But that's where I'll be. What did I say? What day was that? The 7th. Sunday the 7th. 4 o'clock p.m. Pike's Place Market. Okay. So we got that out of the way. Um, I'm going to be in Portland the rest of the trip. Uh, I'm going to be hanging out with uh, my buddy uh, that's from the area. He's going to kind of be my guide. Um, kind of showing me around Portland. I've never been to Portland. Again, if you have any Thing that I have to see while I am in either the Seattle or Portland area, put that down below in the comments. Also, I wanted to give a big shout out to those that uh, participated in the Human Bunny Challenge in a video about a life-size stuffed rabbit that was buried with an elderly woman. We went to the, to the graveyard and saw the grave and, and, and thought about what may be actually buried there. And I asked uh, viewers to uh, send me their um, interpretations of what Aunt Nell and the Giant Bunny looked like. So here they go. Right, and the last thing I just wanted to, to, to talk about real quick is my equipment. And I know not everyone's interested in, in what equipment I'm using. That's why I say this for the end, because I know some people are interested. Um, I have invested, this is, I've invested quite a bit um, in new equipment recently. This is my camera bag. Let's see what's in the bag. I've shown this before, but this is my Canon T6. I, um, I have a wide angle, what is this, the, eight, the 10 to 18 millimeter lens on there that protects from glare. Um, sadly, we have a malfunction. Um, the flip screen right here is not working correctly. I can actually show you, I think. It's not working, I gotta put a battery in here. It's not working how it should. The camera can still film perfectly fine, but look at this. So get this going. Okay, so you see that? That is uh, the flip screen. You can see my reflection there. 
but we turned it upside down to go in selfie mode and now it is upside down i don't know if, it, if you can fully see that but it's not working right it's it's it, this is not flipping it should flip but it's just showing this what this is seeing is showing it upside down on here um i spoke with um canon um they are willing to repair it uh, the thing is i just didn't have time to send it to be repaired in time to get it back for my trip to seattle so i'm going to have to um just deal with that um while i am in seattle and then i will send it off to be repaired um once i get back um and i did i want to show you some other things i got this speaker and I, you know what i have had some problems <laughs> I had some problems. It is going from the camcorder to this has, has been frustrating because it's just it's way more complicated. It's a whole nother league, and I'm just not uh, very knowledgeable about equipment. So I got this. This is the Rode microphone. It's pretty standard fare. Um, and I one time I filmed a whole video, and this back part wasn't pushed in all the way, and the video had no sound. So tricky. There's like so much more room for error when you're using this different pieces of equipment. I got this light, I really like this. This is this was a good investment. That'll be good for like, especially for like, if I do some more abandoned stuff, that will be good. Um, and then I went and bought the same camcorder that I used to have. <laughs> uh, I may have done this in a moment of frustration, but I wanted to have this um, for one. Um, you know, sometimes just portability wise, this is going to be more practical. Um, I can't shove this in my coat pocket. I can shove this in my coat pocket. Um, plus I wanted to have this for Seattle so that I could always guarantee that I have a good camera with a good selfie screen to film myself with. It, it you know, 99% of the videos on my channel were filmed with this, so... I'd say it's decent. It's enough. I'm filming on my phone right now, so I think this is decent. I'm gonna keep it as part of my collect, as part of my kit right here. Plus, this has got the 60 times zoom. I have no zoom lens yet for this, so I'm gonna use this for zooming as well. Kind of a slapdash kit, I know, but uh, and then of course I got my Mavic uh, Possum 2, um, and apparently in Seattle. Um, it's kind of a drone unfriendly city. Um, I think what I heard was that someone was flying a drone around the city and like crashed into somebody and hurt them. So the city cracked down on drone flying. So I guess my dream of flying the drone around the Space Needle is not going to come to fruition. And uh, so there we go. Also, uh, let me know what, what do I eat? What do I eat in Seattle? I know I'm supposed to go to the first Starbucks and, and get a coffee or something even though I don't like coffee. What do you what do you eat in Seattle? It's uh, what toss salad and scrambled eggs, right? Anyways, um, let me repeat that date again. Sunday, September, September, Sunday, January seventh, Pike Place Market, four p.m. Rachel the Pig, Carpetbagger Meetup. I will be there. You feel like showing up come on uh doesn't matter how many we get if we get a whole bunch that's fun if we get just a couple we'll have more time to hang out with each individual person so for now this one's in the camera bag <laughs>